Hey sellers, it's Chris Gately, Gately Properties, your friendly real estate business. Now this is going to be part two of our conversation about what to expect in 2020 as a seller. Um, is it a good time to sell? So I know I get asked the question all the time, is it a good time to buy? Is it a good time to sell? And you know what? The answer is always yes. Um, it really comes down to you as, as an individual. Do you need to buy or sell? Right now, in real estate, we are seeing some record low numbers uh, of homes available for sale. There are slowly more homes coming on the market, but uh, coronavirus basically killed it. Um, we had record low inventory going into 2020, and now we have extremely low inventory going into 2020. Uh, in my last video, we looked up and we saw that there were 900 and we saw there were 908 homes currently available for the entire Santa Fernando Valley. That's single family homes, doesn't include um, uh, condos, doesn't include duplexes, triplexes, um, mobile homes, um, just single family homes. Um, 908 for the entire San Fernando Valley. That is crazy low numbers. Um, so what does that mean as a seller? I mean, right now, I get it. You don't want to put your home on the market. There's lots of uh, questions about people coming and going. Uh, we as real estate agents have to have to adhere to specific rules of conduct uh, to, to be able to practice real estate in the current COVID environment to be deemed essential. One of them is cleaning after each showing. Um, we have to require our... Uh, our buyers sign what's called the property uh, entry addendum or the PEAD. Um, that actually lets us ask questions of their health, uh, let them know about current rules um, regarding masks. Um, and then here at, Cal uh, here at Gately Properties, we are using uh, technology to try to limit how many people actually come through the house. Um, we can do amazing things with what's called virtual tours or 3D tours. We use Matterport here at Gately Properties and it's an amazing tool that lets you take a virtual tour through the house. It doesn't let you open any drawers or walk down the street. Those are still things that you're gonna have to do in person, but primarily they can see the home, they can see how it's set up um, and we get amazing photography and marketing out of that. So. That is something that we are trying to do to utilize technology to limit your exposure to coronavirus, but at the same time, increase your exposure to all the buyers that are out there. Speaking of buyers, right now there's more buyers than, than ever because of it, record low interest rates. So uh, is it a great time to sell? Yeah, I think you can, you can do amazing things right now. I think you can get away uh, with doing minimal repairs to the house. Um, I think it still needs to show well, but I think you can get away with doing minimal repairs and get amazing value from your house. Um, one thing you do need to know though, is lenders are taking time right now. Appraisals are taking time. Um, if you're expecting a very quick escrow, um, unless it's a full cash offer and you have proof of the cash, it, you're probably looking at 45 to 60 days, to be honest. It's taking time. Um, also, we're seeing with the bidding wars um, from all those multiple buyers that uh, we're running into some appraisal issues. Uh, yes, your $300,000 house, uh, they are offering $600,000 just so they can get through the door. Do they have the extra 300,000 if it doesn't come in for the extra? Probably not. They're hoping to renegotiate down the road. Um, there are tools and tricks that we're aware of to, to try to eliminate those, those uh, wild guesses um, and uh, to help you uh, weed out the less serious buyers from the, the, the great offers that you should be taking. As we go into 2021, uh, there are several things that may happen. Um, there's talk of interest rates going up, which could cause a diminishment of buyers. At the same time, we're talking about the rise of delinquencies. Um, in June, July, there was a huge increase in, in delinquencies, but most of those are, are under the uh, mortgage deferment program. They're still considered delinquent, but this could impact how many homes come on the market? 
Um, we are seeing as, as we get closer to a, a cure or a vaccine that you're going to see more sellers come on the market. So that's more competition, lowering your price. So if you are thinking about selling, I would, I would contact us. Uh, we focus primarily in the Antelope Valley, uh, Santa Clarita Valley, and San Fernando Valley. But we do have amazing contacts throughout the United States and the rest of, the, uh, rest of California um, that we would love to help you find the right agent if, if we can't help you ourselves. So if you are thinking about selling, uh, please do feel free to reach out. And uh, I'm going to leave it up to you. Have you thought about selling? Is there a reason you haven't sold? Um, if you did so, where would you move? So this is a conversation I'd love to hear from you. And uh, we're going to pass it over to Outro Chris. If you like this video, please like us, subscribe, share us, give us a thumbs up. And uh, please feel free to check out some of our other videos. Don't wait. You can click. Don't forget, don't forget to like us. Subscribe.